Can't reach it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Come here. Yeah. 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 Okay guys, um, launching, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, such a beautiful day, it's very hot today, a um, little bit stress at the entrance, there is like a group of kids from the club, a lot of people, too busy inside the club, uh, but anyway, I'm out, uh, it says I'm going to get to the reef, 11.15 in the morning, because I came late today, but uh, I hope the condition will be good and I'll stay probably until maybe four. I hope I will have enough water. Uh, and yeah, and the best thing is that, you know, I'm on the water and I'm gonna get uh, something, Palamida, anything, nice grouper. Uh, yeah, so my uh, mate Ronen came out. I mean, he, he came in, on shore when I was uh, preparing my kayak and he was devastated. He lost a huge, huge palamida, huge, he said, that was already by his kayak. And then he took line again, went down and somehow got released. Didn't cut the line, but got released. And he was uh, devastated because, you know, that m what make the day so special. Uh, when you catch something like that, you land it, and then you come in and you can be proud but that's fishing and uh, sometimes those uh, disappointments just give me give you more uh, more uh, hunger to come and fish so we love it we do it because we love it and uh, I'll see you on the reef I'm not trolling anything today because I have no time straight to the target and let's go thank you for watching Fish on the bottom, plenty, plenty. Where's the jig? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, fish. Yeah. Small one, small one. Small one. Small to neat. So shoal of the shoal, a big shoal of what is it? It's not even to me. It's like a mackerel. Look. Look the mackerel. It's a mackerel. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's a nice mackerel, it's a nice bait. Look what a nice mackerel. Wow. It's like a scud. It's like a mackerel scud because the eye is a bit big. See it? It's like a scud. It's a very good bait. I think it's like a scud because the eye is, is bigger than the Atlantic one that I used to catch in uh, England. But yeah. Let me take a number of The problem is that even when I see them underneath me, I don't know exactly where the jig is because it's a bit in an angle. You 
try just to position the kayak based on the line angle. That's what I try to do. I hope it's not a net down there because what I see on the on the sound there is a flame of fire. That sometimes sometimes it's like when you have some sort of net that you are, you are above and that I don't want because it doesn't make sense that it's anything that's supposed to be alive, right? It looks like something stationary. Now, if I'll mark it... Sorry. And come back here after, see if it's still here, I would know that it's unreal. Big ball bait, big ball bait. Big ball bait, where are you? Fish on, please. I have to land this one. I already lost a big one. It can be Palamida. No, 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 no. Oh, big Palamida, big Palamida. Wow, 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 wow. Big, big, huge one. Wow, huge one, huge one. Huge one, I don't have the back camera. Huge one. Ooh. Huge one, I don't have the back camera for that. Sorry guys. It just turned off because it was on and the battery gun. But if I can land this one, it's my day. See if I can use the guff. Wow, it's one. I have to take it easy. The drag is closed almost totally because before when I lost it. The drag wasn't closed and it took too much line and went down and I lost it. I cannot even get to the gaff. Please, 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 please. I can't, can't reach it. And also, no, no, no.
Wow. Oh, de palamida. Oh, de palamida. Wow, de palamida. Wow, wow. All the blood, full of blood. Oh, de palamida. That's what I lost before, probably. Got it twice. Got it twice. Gave me a good, good, good fight. But uh, yeah, I reckon it has five, six kilo at least. At least, if not more. Okay. This is about 12, 12 or 13 pounds, yeah, oh, 13 or 14 pounds, it's in the water, I can't even measure it, it's about 13 pounds, about 7 kilo, I guess. checking the line after Palamida but what's good about it the hooks um, this is again this is Shimano center jig or center weight or whatever it's called butterfly 70 gram um, I'm not sure if it's even a slow jigging type I think it's very narrow but it has the the middle which is very fat so probably it might be also for, for slow jigging I'm not sure I usually jig it um, uh, fast and uh, yeah, it's it's good lure. It brought me most of the fish. Uh, I'm lucky because the hooks got one got in the mouth and what one was uh, behind the gills in the in the wing. So things that helped me, but they don't help me with this. Come on, uh, that helped me to to be able to land it because. Uh, uh, it's big, it's my biggest one, and uh, obviously you saw how we took line, all kind of angles um, in second. I'm using, a, I'm using, this one is a one and a half PE uh, braid, it's only four strand of Hercules, uh, multicolor, and it's, a, it's basically 0 0.2 millimeter, so I think it's 20 pound rated. Really, 20 pound uh, weight, uh, and uh, it's strong. And I use a uh, shock leader, quite long, uh, probably six, seven meter, maybe less, but uh, 0 0.5 millimeter. So it's about 34 pound. And yeah, I never had the cut really uh, anywhere, but either the clip of the lure or the jig or from above the jig uh, yeah so I'm talking to you and I'm going the other way from where I want to go but yeah that's great now I have to go out because of the Sun and uh, I, I, I don't want to I don't want to cut uh, the fish uh, 
tail or anything because I might uh, go by my uh, friend, he has a shop and he, he buy the fish, we are before, before Passover, it's too big for me to fill it, so I can sell it for him, I'll check with him if he wants it, uh, I'll pass by him and uh, I'll drop it and uh, he sells them. I'll do maybe another drift, maybe get another thing. If I get another Palamida, I'm double my prize. <laughs> and anyway, I cannot close the thing, so I have to go out, I have to go out. Crazy. The wind always pick up usually during this time. The drift is a bit... It doesn't mean that the fishing is less good. But, you know, the drift is uh, a bit weird. The line is not vertical and... Uh, yeah, I'll give it one shot, same drift, around the same uh, uh, reef. Actually, the plotter that's recording and, uh, and the relief shading of Navionics on my phone, they're really accurate. Uh, Position-wise and depth-wise, I mean, I can see it, it's similar. But obviously you can see much better on the relief shading where you are exactly on the reef, if you are on the top of it, if you are begin the, the, the drop. So, it's a, li a little bit helpful. Okay guys, um, yeah, it will be a wrap. I'm going to head out. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, worried about the fish because uh, I, cannot I cannot close the cooler. So if I'll see something on the way down the sounder, I'll drop the jig. If I get something, I'll show you. If not, at least I have one decent fish. Yeah, we're entering soon to uh, the end of April, which is going to be two months of uh, closed season until the end of June. In the ocean here, we will have a break as well. So thank you very much to keep up with me till now. See you later. This is the best movie. Eating popcorn. Watching the movie. You just need the air condition. It's popcorn with fishy taste. Coming on. On the beach, plenty of people. Can you see them? Ah, uh, now they're going to bother me because they're going to see the tail out of the box, and that will be annoying. I have to do it quick because I have uh, to run and buy more ice and to get out of here. Yeah. Lama mazat saga? 